holiday, and we'll see you next week. Up next, we're going to take you on board the president's plane, Air Force One, for a rare behind-the-scenes visit. I promise you're not going to want to miss this. President Bush on Friday boarding Air Force One for his 48th and final foreign trip. For a plane that's such a symbol of our nation, most of us know very little about what it's like inside. But this week we were granted special access to the aircraft and the dedicated crew that works on it for our Power Player of the Week. It is the most famous, most photographed plane in the world. But when you walk into the hangar at Andrews Air Force Base and talk to the people who work on it, Air Force One means more than that. I've got 230 hand-picked folks that have tremendous pride to make sure this jet works perfectly every time for the President of the United States. So. Colonel Mark Tillman is completing 30 years in the Air Force, the last eight as the President's pilot. What is it like to land in a foreign country as the pilot of this plane with the United States of America emblazoned across the side? You see people from all over the world waiting to see Air Force One, but more important, waiting to see the President of the United States and America arrive on their soil. The flag in the United States of America is we brought the United States to that country. And all 230 people who work on Air Force One and the backup 747 have a keen sense of dedication. We don't accept failure. 
so it's a zero air, zero failure mission. The goal for us is we are kind of the men in black, so we hang behind. Um, myself and my crew take great pride in this because it's a sense of ownership. Uh, it says United States on the side, but we think of it as ours. Master Sergeant Rick Cousineau was the crew chief. He leads a team of 17 who check and then double and triple check the plane. Where other 747s would be, uh, when things are fixed, it's because they're broken. We find things before they're broken and fix them before they become a problem. So the crew doesn't wash the plane. That would leave water spots. So they polish everything, even the tires, by hand. We probably checked out, I would say, two to 300 rags, and they all have to be accounted for by every person when they go to check in at the end of the day. And what if there are 199 rags? Then we will search this airplane until we find it. Staff Sergeant Jessica Cottrell has worked on Air Force One less than five months. I know that I could be part of safely, you know, making sure the president 